he's just being very obliging as he sits there. And wonderful to have that golden sunset light filtering through the spike thorn tree onto his face. Bye-bye. See ya. So that's one of the most experienced rangers or guides in... Uh, we were just chatting about guides before we left. One of the most experienced guides in probably South Africa, and if not the entire continent. He's been at it about 30 years now. Extremely professional man and brilliant photographer. A chap called Lex Hess. Hello, Linda in Shelbyville. You want to know when female leopards can do normally start mating? Linda, I believe it's possible from about two years, but normally not before they're about three, two and a half, three years. When they're settled in a territory, they'll go into estrus, and a male will find them, and or she'll actually seek out a male, and they'll breed. Um, but normally, you know, possible from two years, probably more likely at three. Uh, we've got beautiful silence all around us. So we're just going to be, I'm going to be quiet for the next 30 seconds or so. I just want you to have a listen to the immense peace of this afternoon with this glorious little leopard lying where he is. Very little sound actually. That's a Koki Franklin. Koki, 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 that's where he gets his name from. Otherwise, gentle breeze from the southeast. Couple of Franklins in the distance. <laughs> 